What you should say is, as per your requirements, the RFQ contains two-factor authentication with an option for biometrics as a third. Pending budgetary constraints, the cut sheets are in your RFQ. Management will love you. The guy will look like an idiot and hopefully he will be quiet. Here are three things you never ever say in a business meeting. Those of you who have seen Leisure Town, you know this by heart. You don't say, oh, well, we'll use Internet Exploder instead of Nut Scrape and Micro Sloth. And then don't do this. There's only one golden rule. Shut up. Say what you need to say. Say no more. Say no less. And get the job done. Construction workers. This is my favorite. They have very reliable timing. If they say they will be there at 6 a.m., they will be there at 6 a.m. When they say they're leaving at 3, they will be gone and you will not see them again. They know all the trade secrets. They tell good jokes. They will only do exactly what you tell them to do every time. Know their schedule. Meet the foreman. Talk to the foreman. Go over the blueprints with the foreman. Know what they're doing. I watched them install locks on the outside of the door. Shouldn't the lock be on the inside? Well, the blueprint says outside. Well, the, 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 they will do exactly what you tell them. Supervise the construction. Expect to find surprises. Expect to pay to fix them. They built a door for me into a small data room with three racks in it. One day, I'm walking by and I hear, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Technician went inside the two doors. It was on the left-hand side of the room. The doors poof, slammed shut. There were two server racks between him and the exit button, and there was this much space, and he had effectively locked himself in the room and couldn't get out and was beating on the door. Construction workers and their foreman are the first line of defense when it comes to building inspection. You will have to go through building inspection, so make sure you listen to them. They know the inspectors, they know the drill, they know the local codes. I went head to head with one guy and lost. He said, you can't do this, it's against code. What code? The code. Can you show me the code? Uh, okay, we're done here, reject. And you can't open your building. So listen to the construction workers. Even if the only adjective they know is the one you see on the screen. I've had a construction worker say exactly this to me during a project know how to translate that. Construction workers may not speak English. This is a reality. Deal with it ahead of time. Work with HR. You cannot correct them. You cannot tell them, no, don't do that. You cannot tell them, change your plans if you can't communicate with them. This is another reason why you need to get to know the foreman. Also, if you can't communicate with them, you don't get to hear the good, dirty jokes. Things will go wrong. I guarantee you things will go wrong. So, not all problems can be solved with a quick hack. A quick easy fix right now is going to be a problem down the line. Don't blow up your bicycle tire with bagpipes. Pizza and beer is cheaper than overtime. Said enough, right? You buy them some, some food and booze, they stay an extra hour. Users. We've all had to deal with users, so let's go through this one quickly. First of all, they're the reason you're here. They love to take your classes. They don't have to work, but they expect the system the way, to work the way you want it to. They want it to, not the way you designed it. You cannot get rid of people this easily. It's not that easy. Here's the deal. Users have said to me, these are actual quotes, it's an unnecessary inconvenience to have a password. Fine, my PIN code is 12345. That's final. Your system is a piece of crap and I refuse to use it. These are things users have actually said to me. I don't want to have to use the system. It's for other people. If you don't unlock my door, I'll just prop it open. There's nothing in my office worth securing. I don't care if you can make it work. I can't. Watched a guy once pretend to punch the buttons on the keypad and said it wasn't working. I'm like, you're not even pressing the button. I want people to be able to access my area only during work hours, especially if they're working late. Gene Spafford lit the way for me on this. If you have responsibility for security, you have no authority to set rules or punish violators. Your role is exclusively to take the blame when something big goes wrong. Keep this in mind, this is wisdom. 
We don't get this every day. Understand your role and the role of HR when dealing with users. Don't threaten users. Don't imply, well, it'd be horrible if you lost your job for breaking security compliance. Would, don't do that. That's not your job. It's not your place. Don't overstep your authority. Document, document, document. Always keep a level head. HR may not support you. HR has the best interest of the company, not you or the user in mind. HR may lie. The user may lie. Here is some of the greatest things I've ever heard come out of an HR department. Two people said you said it, and you say you didn't. That's two against one. You lose. I want you to make it as difficult as possible for the internal security force to access and use our security system. I say you didn't get permission to move that equipment. Now, three other people said you did, but that's how I see it, and that's how it is. My favorite, I don't have to take into consideration how things make you feel. My job is to make sure that you do not say things that make other people uncomfortable. So, train users in a clear, concise, and firm manner. Who knows who that is up there on the photo? Thank you. That is Pavlov. Don't make a user feel like an idiot. Firm but polite remedial training without punishment is the best way to go. Involve users in troubleshooting. Swipe your card for me. Type that in. Okay, here's where you're going wrong. It works now. That's the difference between a thank you and an oof you when you're dealing with users. Encourage users to, to report security problems and malfunctions in the system. In conclusion, who here can read Latin? Omnis mundi creatura quasi liberet. What we mean here is all aspects of your security system reflect your entire security system. Weakest chain, weakest link in the chain. All things reflect the quality of your security system. So there is no minor problem. There is no little thing you can overlook. There isn't anything you can just forget about. Everything matters. And that's what I had to say. Thanks, go out. <laughs>